Hey everybody, Kevin here with Your Best Groove and Groove Tutorials. And I'm gonna share with you seven things you may not know about Groove Pages in just a moment. But before I do that, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the Groove Tutorials we are putting out here at Groove Tutorials. All right, let's take a look at seven things you may not know about Groove Pages. And I'm gonna take you into the settings in Groove Pages. So for example, when you are managing a site and you want to change the settings for a page, first of all, we have now a new place for settings. We have this gear here that we can use for settings, but you may not know that inside of Pages, you can now click the three dots and click Edit Settings. This used to be there in Groove and then it went away and I'm not sure exactly when, but it has come back for us. So let's click edit settings and you'll be able to see these seven things inside that you may not know. First of all, for a given page, we can name the page. We can also change the page URL. Now importantly, on the home page, so when you have more than one page in your website, you'll see that we have a home page and a thank you page on this example. If I were to take these three dots and make this the home page, so you see the URL right now is thank you purchase dash copy. If we set this as the home page, it's gonna change to index and the other page will change its URL to page dash one. So if we were to be on the thank you page and we were to click the three dots and click edit settings, you'll see that now the page name is here, but we cannot change the URL. If on the other hand, we go back to this page and click the three dots, you can see when we click edit settings that we can now change the URL to say home or whatever we want to. So this URL is what's gonna show up after the main domains. Now inside of the page information is where we can also change the favicon for that page. So this is a very small square image and it's what's gonna show up in the tab anytime you open your website. So for example, if I go to yourbestgroove.com, you'll see that we have a little icon here. So let's go over. We have the page name. So the page name is going to be what shows up on your nav bar if you have a nav bar on your site. The second thing that you may not know is the SEO settings inside of your page settings. The first thing we have is indexing options and we can choose to disable the indexing for this page. We can also hide it from the site map. Obviously, this page would not be seen. So that's the indexing part of the SEO. The second part of SEO is the metadata. We can put a page title here. We can put our meta keywords here. And then the description is a longer option to put a description again for search engines as well as for showing up actually on the search in Google. So inside of SEO, you have indexing, metadata, and then you have open graph. Now open graph is what you're gonna see if you share this on Facebook or Twitter. You can put an image, a title, and a description. And then the final piece under SEO is the score. So the first thing you may not know is the page information. The second is SEO. The third thing is the styling. For any page on your site, you can set a default font. So you can choose any of the Groove fonts that would be the default font, and you can add any custom CSS that you're gonna use. So you have page information, SEO, styling. Number four is tracking codes. Anytime you're gonna put in Google Analytics or you're gonna put a Facebook pixel or you're gonna put tracking codes that you've created in Groove, this is the place where you're gonna add that code. And typically when you're embedding something, when you're adding something to your site, wherever it's coming from, it will tell you where you should put the code. So this is where you go to add tracking codes to your site or to your page. So you have page information, SEO, styling, tracking codes, and redirection. For any site, for any URL on your page, you can say when they go to this URL, I actually want to redirect them and you can redirect them to an internal page, another page on your site, or you can go to external URLs. Then the sixth thing that we can look at is the exit prompt. So you may not have known that for any page on your site, if you turn this on, when somebody goes to the page and goes to exit, it's gonna say, are you sure you want to exit this page? It's one way that you can have people just check and pause before they exit the page and go somewhere else on the internet. So 
The seventh thing that you may not know about GroovePages is that for any page you have in your site, you can click Save as Template. And if I were to go now back, by the way, this is a bonus thing you may not know. When you're looking at your pages and you want to go back and see the list of pages, instead of exiting and going back so you can see the pages, when you're in Settings, you can always use this little back arrow and it will take you back to the list of pages. But if we were to add a page here and go to then My Templates, we'll see that the new template that I just added shows up here. So there you go. Seven things that you may not have known about Groove Pages. First, you can get to the settings by clicking on the three dots now and clicking Edit Settings. Second, you may not have known about page information, SEO, styling, tracking codes, redirection, exit prompt, and save as template. So the two bonuses in this video are, first of all, that you can use this back arrow to get back to the list, and secondly, that you can now click the three dots to get to the settings. Okay, everybody, that's seven things you may not know about Groove Pages. I hope that that is helpful as you continue to learn how to use Groove Pages and really create amazing sites and funnels for your business. Before I go, I want to remind you that we have created the most complete training opportunity available for Groove, and it's called Groove for Growth Academy. In Groove for Growth Academy, you have access to a private Facebook group, you have access to live Q&As, you have access to nine complete up-to-date step-by-step courses on how to use all of the Groove apps, you have access to the only search engine for Groove on the internet. All of that comes as a part of Groove for Growth Academy. And if you click the link, you can learn more about that. Second thing I want to remind you of is that we also do a free workshop every third Thursday. And it's a two hour workshop where I'll show you the basics of how to use Groove Pages, how to follow the steps to build a lead generation funnel. So that's every third Thursday. And you can click the link in the description to go to that or just go to yourbestgroove.com slash free dash workshop like it says here on the page. I hope you enjoyed the video. Would love to hear from you. Give me a thumbs up. If give me some comments, ask questions. Would love to interact with you and help you learn how to use Groove and master it yourself.